my name's Jim Paul. Welcome to my gymnasium. We're in my basement. I do all my exercising down here. I do it on this bench that I made, weights I've collected over the years, and my lat pull machine. So I'm gonna talk about the lat pull machine. Very easy to make, I'll show you how to make it. Uh, and I'll give you four tips that'll make it function much better and save you a lot of time. is an extension it's also got a pulley on it it'll go through one of these eyes and give me resistance from yet another angle the cord I use is the neem core polyester braided it's four millimeters and uh, I recommend it because it doesn't stretch and it's strong almost a ton the pulleys mounted at the top but don't do it like I did it just take the 2x4 all the way to the top and slot the 2x4 and put the pulley inside the 2x4. So the secrets of this thing. <laughs> the first thing is the number. This is 5 degrees. At 5 degrees, this has the magic of not needing any kind of slot or anything. Gravity keeps it against here. Yet the gravity is not so great that you're gonna wear this bar out. See, this has been here for eight years going up and down. It is waxed on the, the, the side of the board, so it's a little bit smoother. That's secret number one. Secret number two is the choice of pulleys. I went through so many pulleys trying to save money. You need to get nylon pulleys with ball bearings. You need a big one at the top and you need and I'm about to replace this one because I've had it. This is not a nylon pulley, but this is frayed the rope. The lubri needs lubrication, so I get grease on things. This is a mistake. <clears throat> at the bottom, I have the bar that's threaded. I think I got that at Walmart. They're pretty common. Those threads keep the, wet, the plates from slipping off the ends, so I don't really have to screw the plates on. The dimensions of that triangle are important. They keep the bar from wagging back and forth, but it's not so tall that it will get stuck up in the compute, in the pulley at the top. Now notice here the two eyes are offset from each other so the cord doesn't get fouled by them. So a couple questions you may have. How much weight can you put on it? I have enough weight I put 100 pounds on it, no problem at all. I don't have, if I had some more 20 pounds, 25 pound weights, I could get it up to 150. Uh, it handles that, I don't think there's any, you could beef it up with heavier lumber, but I, I don't think it's necessary. Now the question is, could you do this in a finished room other than a, instead of a basement? Yeah, you could uh, mount a small block of wood on your ceiling, you have to find a joist and put some small lag screws in to mount it well, and you'd probably want to mount it with a screw into your floor. So. You could do it. Okay, well that's it. Hope you build yourself one and it works out well for you.